back in this, the late 60s, early 70s, there were vacuum tubes, if you remember, before they had solid state transistors and chips and stuff like that. And the tube is just a metal, or excuse me, a glass enclosed vacuum of which they put a high voltage to, and then it acts like a diode or a transistor or an operational amp, an op amp, or whatever. And they did it all with, in dis you know, discrete tubes. But ba also what they did back then is they had, they didn't have LEDs, they didn't have LCDs. So what they had was these things called Nixie tubes. And if you look carefully, it's kind of hard to see, in, in the tube itself, you can see numbers. And what this thing does is on the bottom of the PC board, there's all these different pins. And the pins, depending on what voltage you put on there, will um, basically turn on the different segments. And that's how they made the numbers. And I bought this probably 10 years ago, something like that. It's old. And uh, I had to replace one of the tubes because I broke the top and the air got in and it was no good. So I replaced the tube and it works, but one number doesn't work. And I don't remember which tube it is. And the way it will tell is when you first turn it on, it'll count through all of the numbers. And you can see it should go one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we go. Let's see what happens. One, two, three. Okay, so I just saw. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, oh, right there. So the second one, one, make sure, one, two, three, okay. This one here is missing a four. Let me try it again. First one. Yeah, it looks like that's the only one. And if you watch it, give it a minute. That's the date, and or no, excuse me, that's the time. You look at it, watch what happens when it goes to 59. What it does is it rolls through all of the numbers intentionally. It goes 48, 49, 50, and then the other one goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now what it's doing is it's, the problem is with Nixie tubes, if you don't keep using them, they get poisoned and then they don't they like doesn't work properly so here 57 watch the 51 there oh it didn't do it huh okay I swear it's supposed to do some kind of rolling thing that's an option you can play around with but this is what it looks like in the dark it's really cool looking perfect for steampunk and stuff I just gotta fix this four because it's wrong two every time you know two times a day 4 a.m. and 4 p.m. So check this out. If you look, the zero is way, way, way in the back compared to the five, which is closer. And they're just stacked, you know, one in front of the other. And yet you could still see the numbers work to each other. Let's look at this. See? So that's called a Nixie clock Nixie tubes Nixie clock and I'm gonna repair this it's just one cold solder joint I think and you know these are Russian tubes you can get electrocuted down here because it has some step up voltages and shit like that it has a battery it's been like five years and this battery is still keeping the time there's a remote and a light sensor and everything else I'm thinking that second one is bad, and I think I see the bad point. I think I can fix it. So anyway, I just wanted to show this little gadget. It will eventually break because you can get 5,000 to maybe 20,000 hours out of a Nixie tube itself. This is one of the reasons I didn't have it plugged in and I want to break it. Now, there's a Kickstarter project, or it may be Indiegogo, where they're making this exact type of thing, but they're making it a computerized version. It'll last forever. It's going to use OLED displays, and you'll be able to custom program the fonts to make it look like a Nixie clock or whatever. But this is the real deal. 
just wanted to show you, it was just an old piece of technology. And this, believe it or not, is actually wood. Some very fine, polished, smooth, weird grain. I picked it. It was an eBay thing. I like it. It just adds a little bit of, uh, it just adds a little bit of uh, the old style. Look up Nixie. N-I-X-I-E. You'll see they used these so many years ago. And they get warm, too, by the way. Because they are neon. Neon-filled. And basically, they just light up. So, and then there's standard neon bulb right there. I don't know why this won't focus. When I was a kid in electronics class, we made many, many projects with neon light bulbs and they work on 120 volts with the resistor of course all right thanks for watching a little piece of uh i guess history steampunk whatever